Mr. Men, Little Miss, be kind. A book about kindness. Roger Hargreaves. This is a story about being kind. Mr. Happy is kind. Can you tell? Sometimes it's the small things like holding the door open when Little Miss Busy had her hands full. Or the bigger things like taking Mr. Bump to the hospital when he hurt himself. Are you kind like Mr. Happy? I'm sure you are sometimes. But what about the times you do what you want without thinking of others? It can be difficult to be kind. Mr. Mean lives up to his name. Does he like being kind? No, he does not. One day, Mr. Mean was in a particularly mean mood. He stomped on the flowers Little Miss Sunshine was growing by the path. Who put them there? He raged. They don't do anything and they can't even look after themselves. Then he smirked when Mr. Funny's shoe car wouldn't start. Could you give me a hand? asked Mr. Funny. No, snapped Mr. Mean. That will teach you to drive a normal car like everyone else. Do you think Mr. Mean is happy? As you may have noticed, being mean doesn't make him smile. That day, Mr. Happy had seen Mr. Mean's behaviour and he had an idea. An idea about how to help him make good decisions. Now, Mr. Happy isn't the only one who is kind. Lots of his friends are kind in their own way. Like when Little Miss Fun invited Little Miss Shy to join her games at the park. Or when Mr Clever helped Little Miss Inventor build her latest invention, the Quicker Litter Picker. Not forgetting the time, Little Miss Splendid kindly gave Mr Silly her gold bath. Did you know he uses it as a bed? But the perfect person to help this time was little Miss Giggles. I'd really like Mr. Mean to know that small acts of kindness go a long way and being kind will make him feel happier too, Mr. Happy told his friend. <laughs> I agree, but it's going to be a challenge, <laughs> replied little Miss Giggles. So Mr. Happy and Little Miss Giggles decided to help Mr. Mean have a kinder day. Hello, Mr. Mean. How are you today? asked Mr. Happy. What do you want? I don't have time to stop and chat, Mr. Mean replied rudely. <laughs> we can help you if you have lots to do, offered Little Miss Giggles, kindly taking one of his bags for him. I won't pay you, snorted Mr. Mean. But when Mr. Mean realised they were offering to help for free, he let them join him on his errands. There were lots of them too. As they went round the town, Mr. Mean noticed that Mr. Happy greeted everyone with a hello and a smile. And Little Miss Giggles took time to chat with others too, 
smiling at their stories and laughing at their jokes. Even Mr. Mean felt happier and brighter in their company. Though Mr. Mean still hadn't been kind to others yet, he didn't stamp on Little Miss Princess's foot as he pushed to get to the front of the queue, like Mr. Rude, or shout at Mr. Noisy for speaking loudly, like Little Miss Bossy. Shush! Have you ever heard of using an inside voice? She hollered. But Mr. Mean didn't do anything when others were unkind. Until they met Little Miss Stubborn, who was refusing to move out of Mr. Small's way so he could see Little Miss Magic's show. Excuse me, please said Mr. Small quietly. No, I was here first, snapped Little Miss Stubborn rudely. Then, do you know what Mr. Mean did? He made a very kind decision. He lifted up Mr. Small. Now you can see better, said Mr. Mean. Oh, thank you. That is so kind of you said Mr. Small with a huge smile. Mr. Happy and Little Miss Giggles looked at each other and smiled, and Mr. Mean felt a strange sensation, a warm glow which started in his chest and spread outwards. A small act of kindness really had made him feel happier too. Little Miss Stubborn felt so surprised and embarrassed that she actually moved aside so Mr. Happy and Little Miss Giggles could see the show too. On his way home, Mr. Mean bought Little Miss Sunshine some seeds to plant more flowers. They were sunflower seeds, of course. And he said sorry to Mr. Funny and gave him some shoe polish for his car. It was too soon to say that Mr. Mean should change his name, but he had enjoyed a kinder day. But could Mr. Happy and Little Miss Giggles have the same effect on Little Miss Bossy and Mr. Rude? Now there's a challenge. Thank you for listening.